Hey guys, Jack here, and today I've got an epic kill streak with one of the heroes in the game, Luke. The Skywalker Massacre, I call it. And also, I wanted to talk about the importance of playing with friends and just the general level of teamwork that we've seen so far in the Star Wars Battlefront beta. Obviously, Battlefront is a team game. Most of the modes, anyway, it's going to be Rebels versus Imperials. And the topic of discussion for today is something that I knew would happen. I think it's pretty important and it's a shame because it makes teamwork a lot harder and I got to experience it a few days ago. I might be completely off the mark with this one, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But for me personally, I'd say over the last five years or so as multiplayer gaming has advanced, I don't regularly play many multiplayer games by myself anymore. When I play a multiplayer game, whether it's on PC or console, whether it's a, a shoot a survival game, a racing game, whatever it is, I'd say that on average I'm with a group of around four to five people. That's what my personal gaming experience is now. It, it's better for me with a small group rather than playing solo. And I'm interested to know, is this the same for you guys? Like, do you usually play solo or with a group? I'm sure that plenty of people play solo and are quite content with it, which is great. But I know for a fact that lots of other people prefer to play games together in small groups and I know a lot of these groups. Now in Battlefront there is a partner system and a party system. The partner system lets you pick one other person to partner up with. You can then join a game with them and be on the same team. And when you're in game you can see them as a yellow dot on the radar. You can see an outline of them sometimes through certain buildings, scenery etc and also if they're in a vehicle. And in addition to this, you can spawn on them from the spawn menu if they're alive. You just click partner spawn and you'll spawn on top of them. Now the party system is a bit different to this. You can have a maximum of 8 people in your party and then you can join a game together, hopefully putting you on the same team. And when you're in a game with your party, you cannot see where they are in the same way that you can with your partner. They look the same as everyone else in the game, just a blue dot on the radar and you can see their name when you get close to them. You can't spawn on them either. Remember, only your in-game partner or a normal spawn are your options. Is this a problem? I think it is and I got to experience it firsthand a couple of days ago in the beta. I'm playing with three other friends on TeamSpeak, so we're in a party of four, each partnered up. Of course, we're going to die at different times and need to spawn in again and again. And there's going to be times where our partner isn't alive and we're both dead. And it becomes evident immediately that because we can't really see each other in game in the party and we can only spawn on a partner, teamwork and coordination becomes incredibly difficult. And therefore, we can't really play together as a group, which sucks. It starts off okay, when the round begins it's like, okay guys, we're going to go defend the left uplink. And we all go there, some get killed, some survive. And then, you've got to spawn towards the back, run to the objective, and by the time you're there, your friends have died, they've now respawned at the other objective, you run back over there, you get there, then instead of concentrating on the game, you're going up to every single player, checking what their name is to see if it's your friend, so you can group up with them and play together. Because that's fun, right? That's the best part about playing multiplayer games, surely, playing with friends. And unfortunately, the way that the Battlefront partner and party system is set up at the moment doesn't really allow for this type of gameplay. In practice, it doesn't work very well, in my opinion. And as such, I think it's detrimental to the game and it stops those small groups of people from playing together and having a better experience. In terms of team play, in terms of objective play and just generally having fun, the way that they used to playing games together. Even if you're in a party, it feels like you're playing solo and that's bad, especially for this type of game where there are two massive teams, 20 versus 20, attempting to coordinate and play the objective. And that's how I feel about it anyways. Yes, I really enjoy playing this game solo and I can sit there for hours having fun. But when you're in that group together, it's just so much more rewarding for me. How can this be fixed? Well, I think it's quite simple really. Party members should be a different colour than other teammates on the radar and the HUD. Yellow for your partner, green for party members. Maybe even all yellow if dice don't care about separating party and partners. That way, it's very easy to meet up and play together when you're in a match. 
and that would solve a lot of these complaints. And as I said, I think for a game like this, it's really, really important to be able to see your party members as well as your partner. Secondly, and I don't think it's something that will happen because DICE have designed the partner system in a very specific, simple way, but it would be awesome to see, and I'd love it, in an ideal version of the game for me, if I could spawn on my party members rather than just my partner that would be great and maybe you could limit it to just four people because you don't want a big squad of eight players roaming around and spawn bombing all the time so there we have it that's how i feel about that particular element of the game and i have done since the very first time i've played it honestly i think it's going to be really quite hard for people who play in groups of three to four or more to enjoy the game together because they're going to be split up most of the time and they won't be able to play in game together that often insert first world problems comment here thanks for watching guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what's your average multiplayer experience like is it solo or is it in a group with three people or more i'd love to know give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one